back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brooke. I post videos once a week and today's video is the slime backwards challenge and I actually got inspired by my Sarah Choxo, I think you say it. I'm not really sure. You guys, should, you guys should go subscribe to her. She has really cool videos and that's where I get a lot of my ideas from. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you do, click that subscribe button right down below. And you can just go ahead and press it. And turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time I post new video. It's that little bell right next to the subscribe button. And it'll probably take you like three seconds. So, yeah. And if you like this video and you want to see more slime videos... Um, give this video a thumbs up. I was gonna do Valentine's Day slime, but I figured I was too late, and so I decided this was the next best thing. And next week's video is going to be really exciting, so stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So for the first slime, it is a clear foam, and sorry if my voice is a little bit like stuffy, I'm just getting over a cold. So first thing I added in my foam beads because that's what I would do last. And then I added in some activator, one teaspoon of borax to one cup warm water, and then a couple pumps of foaming hand soap. Mine was hard to get out, so I kind of cut through the like part of me trying. And then you want to add in some food coloring of your choice. This is optional. You don't have to do this. And then I just mix this. And then you want to add in some clear glue. I had already added some. There's my bunny. She was hopping around. Her name is Coco. She's so cute. But yeah, you just want to keep adding in clear glue. This was the hardest part to know how much clear glue to add in. But then you just want to mix it. And I actually added in too much activator. So I don't know if you would consider this cheating. But I did have to add in more clear glue. Then I just took it out on my table and started kneading it. And it was a little bit sticky, so I was showing you how sticky it was. So at this point, I did have to add in more activator. Then after I added in activator, it was really good. So here's the ASMR. It was super crunchy and I thought it turned out really good for doing like backwards. So the next slime is fluffy slime and I did decide to make these cards to make it easier for myself. So first you want to add in your activator which I didn't show and then I added in, I wanted a peach color so I added in a drop of red and this one was inspired by this peach by drink. I was drinking it and I was like you know what I'm going to make a peach slime because this drink is so good. Not even sponsored, just wanted to say it. Then I added in some yellow food coloring, mixed that in. It looks really dark orange, but it actually turned out not being that dark. Then I added in a ton of foaming hand soap. Again, it was hard to get out. Next, I added in a little bit of shaving cream because it is fluffy slime. And then some water. And my glue. Again, this was the hardest part. I actually added in too much glue to the amount of borax I had. So that was kind of a bummer. But I felt like I had a lot of stuff in there, so I felt like I needed a lot of glue. Then I mixed it, and I loved mixing this. This was, like, so satisfying for me. It was this really peachy orange color, and it was so sticky. That's what I was showing you guys, how sticky it was, because I couldn't even play with it. So that's why I had to add activator. And it turned out being really good, so here's some ASMR. It was a super thick slime, and yeah. Sorry for the slime on my hands. 
be. Looks flat because I had to go see what my bunny was doing. I also forgot to mention, do you guys like this natural lighting? I, I love the natural lighting, so comment down below if you'd rather natural lighting or my ring light. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I guess, I don't know if I really cheated or not. Um, I did have to add borax to them because they were too sticky. But other than that, I followed the rules, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I will see you guys next week, and bye!